Before the Wi-Fi Wooster 3 came out, there is basically two ways for you to charge your 1S LiPos, which you're generally going to use the charging block that came with the tiny whoop. And what you have to do is you basically plug in your LiPos to the little ports right here, and then you plug it into an external USB source and it's going to charge whatever, from whatever voltage that is to the max voltage. This is totally fine, but it only does one function, charge from whatever voltage to max, so it only charges. And the problem is you won't be able to use this to store charge or discharge anything. And this is a problem because if you don't store or charge your 1S LiPos, generally they are going to go bad really quickly. So to fix this problem, there is another method. It's by using a regular 2S to 8S charger and you pair it with a 1S charging block. By doing so, you will be able to set up your max charge voltage, your storage voltage, and you can even discharge your batteries. But the problem is, this is a big package and it's not easy for travel. And this is where the Vivefly Ooster 3 comes in. You basically get all these in one single package. So in this video, we're just going to do a quick tutorial to demonstrate how this works. And you can decide if you wanted to throw your money onto it. At least I know I will. Okay, let's go. Before we begin, there is one thing that you have to know is what type of input power does this thing takes. So if you flip it over, very simple, you're going to see that there is basically three plugs. The first one that is going to go into your eyes are most likely going to be the XC60 plug-in method, which you will be able to use a regular XT60 battery and you will be able to power this up. This is a good, good method if you wanted to discharge your larger LiPos or you wanted to charge your smaller LiPos, 1S LiPos on the field. And the second method is going to be the DC power method, which you will have to purchase the power supply separately, which is about $30 to $40, and I doubt a lot of people are going to use that. And last is the most common method, which is by the USB-C to USB-C PD charging method. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to get a USB-C to USB-C cable and a charging block that basically has minimum 40 watts of charging power. Your regular iPhone charger is not going to work. If you just wanted to buy what I'm buying, it's not affiliated, but it's just the cheapest one I can find on Amazon at the time. I think it's about 10 bucks or 20 bucks, I don't remember. So it's gonna be the buy easy. I'm just gonna put a link that I can find the cheapest one at below description so you can just go check it out. All right, let's begin the tutorial. Okay, so just a quick demo as of how to use this charging block is you're basically just going to plug in your charging block and plug in the just plug in the USB-C cable and immediately you are going to see six column that is lighting up. So each column, so you can see one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? Each column, this two ports represent one column. You will be able to plug in either one PH 2.0 LiPo or a BT 2.0 LiPo. You can just mix and match like this, as long as you like it, but just remember you do not plug it in like that. This is a big no-no, it's going to blow up. Okay, so this is not correct. To operate this charger, what you're gonna to have to do is you are just gonna basically plug in your LiPos in the sequence. After our LiPos are plugged in, the little LCD screen is going to display the current voltage that is on the particular LiPo. So number one is going to display number one, number four is going to display number four. So very simple. Next, let's look at the buttons. The buttons on the left that say start, stop, and current set, this will basically allow you to start and stop the charger and also you will be able to set up your current right here. So your current is going to range from 0.3 3 amp to 1.3 amp. So what you have to do to change the value is by short pressing it. So you can see that the value is adding up. The more amp you adjust, the faster it will charge. And since for the 1S LiPo you are going to most likely run into are going to be from 300 to 500 milliamps. So I would say setting it up at 0.5 amps should be 
a good balance between efficiency and safety. But you can adjust whatever you like. It should be fine. Okay, so we're done with this one. Next, let's go to the button on the right, which is going to be the voltage set. The voltage set basically allows you to set up the max voltage. So it ranges from 3.80, 3.85, 4.25, and 4.35. Generally, 3.80, this voltage is going to be your storage voltage. If you wanted to set your LiPo's to be a storage, 3.80 is a good option. And 3.85, I don't know if that's the correct for Lehigh. And 4.2 is basically for LiPo, the max voltage for LiPo batteries. Since most of our 1S batteries are going to be Lehigh batteries, the max charge voltage is going to be 4.35. So you're going to set it up as 4.35. And once everything is ready, all you have to do is long press the left button to start the charger. And if you wanted to stop the charger, all you have to do is long press again and then it's going to stop. All right, let's get this charging going. Okay, so during the charging, quite often, you're gonna run into one LiPo that is charging faster than the other few. And that particular LiPo, once it's done, it's going to make a beep, and you are going to see that it's going to say okay on the little column. What you have to do is just simply remove the LiPo that is done and leave the rest keep on charging. These are individual ports, so you don't have to worry about stopping or anything. And once everything is showing okay, you can just unplug all the light posts and pull the power. Simple as that. Okay, so I hope this walkthrough makes sense to you. And I hope this show why the Oopster version 3 is so good. And I truly believe if you fly 1S, then the iFly Oopster is just too hard to pass. But please let me know what you think in the comment section. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.